Hey everyone, I'm Rama, co-founder and CEO of TOCI, and in this video we're going to take a look at how you can train Paddle OCR on your own custom dataset. As you may know, the, this popular computer vision model for OCR, optical character recognition, is, works very well and is very fast on CPU, but in some cases, like license plate recognition, it doesn't work very well, so it will work much, much better if you create your own dataset of license plates, Let's say, for example, you want to detect license plates with a low resolution CCTV camera. You have to custom train it with your own dataset and it will work much, much better. That's what we're going to do today. Let's get started. All right, so the first step is to sign up to TEOS. This is the platform that we're going to use to label our own dataset for Paddle OCR and train it. So go here and click sign up. Then fill this input form and you will have a free account to TEOS to follow this tutorial. All right, so when you log into TEOS, this is the first thing you're going to see. This is the library where you can see all the subfields of AI of computer vision that we have. We have object detection and OCR, but we're soon uh, adding segmentation, classification, and then natural language processing and speech. But yeah, we're going to, as you're going to see later, we're going to use both object detection and OCR. We have a we are going to have two models. One will be Jollibee 7 Tiny that we're going to use to detect the bounding boxes around the text that we'll try to read. And then we have Paddle OCR, custom train where our own dataset to read the text inside each bounding box. All right, so now let's go to the dataset section here on TOS. And as you can see, I have already a bunch of datasets created from before, but you're going to go here and click uh, the plus button to create a new one and click confirm. And uh, this is one we are going to use, the scene text. I will leave a link to it in the description down below. It has a lot of images, 16,000 images. Um, we have a free plan uh, for you can upload up to 1,000 images for free. Uh, but you can either trim this dataset down to 1,000 images and upload that. Or if you, you want to upload the full dataset, we're going to be changing our, our pricing plans. So they are more affordable for you. Uh, so it will be probably less than $20 per month if you want to upload 20,000 images. So it will be more than enough for you to train this dataset. So once you unzip the file, just drop the folder in here, the entire folder, and click Start Upload. And it will start uploading your dataset. And this is what you are going to see. Okay, now let's take a look at the dataset. So we'll click Start Labeling here on the top. And uh, yeah, you can see that we have here text called America. Let's go to other ones. 589LB. We are making bounding boxes around the words and also putting here on the input box then uh, the text of that bounding box. Stop, a stop sign, another stop sign, Pacific National. If you want to make your own dataset, let's say you want to create a dataset about license plates, you can go here. Uh, well, create a new class, put text recognition here, and write like license plate. License plate, change the color if you want. Click confirm, and then you will have a new, a new class here. You select it, and you zoom into the text that you want to the license plate. Make a bounding box around it, and here you will be asked to uh, write the text. So let's say. A, 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 A. So that will be the license plate. Then you press enter, the enter key to confirm the text. And then you go to the next image by uh, pressing the E key, although it will be a shortcut for submitting the image, or you can also click the submit button uh, on the left uh, bottom left. Let's take a look at a few more images now. This is a good example. Look at all the text we have here, Exit, 2, Memorial, Manhattan, BR, Brooklyn, Manhattan, Civic, Center, Exit, Market. So yeah, do this with a bunch of images. This that dataset is 16,000 images and has, uh, let's take a look at how many labels. Paddle OCR will be a little harder to train that uh, object detection model uh, such as Solo V7. I suggest you to label a lot of, of images for it to work well. So this is mainly uh, if you really care about accuracy for a production model. So if this is a hobby project that you're doing, maybe the default Paddle OCR model will work well for your use case. But if you're really serious about the accuracy and the speed, 
uh, of your model because also I have another video about license plate recognition that I use uh, where I use a transformer OCR model that is very, very accurate in most cases. It also works very well with license plates, but it's very, very slow to run on CPU and GPU. So the good thing about Pod OCR is that it's very, very fast. And But if you train it with your own data, it will be as, as accurate as the transformer model. So yeah, this is basically for, for when you need a very fast, uh, a very fast model on CPU and also accurate, right? Uh, so yeah, use this for work purposes and um, production and commercial purposes, obviously. All right, guys, so now let's go to the train section of TOs and create a new train session. As I told you before, we need two models. We need one for object detection to make a bounding box around the text that we want to detect. And then we will train Paddle OCR to read the text inside each bounding box. So now let's go ahead and create a new training session. I call this scene text detection. Let's select the scene text data set. Click next. Now we're going to select the object detection algorithm. Here you can see it's selected object detection. We're going to select the solo by seven tiny one. Click next. And here's the machine. This is the machine that will do the neural network training. As you may know, to train large neural networks, you need a GPU. If you have a GPU on your computer, you can also use it by running these commands and connect it to, to the platform. But if you don't have one, you can go here and use Google Colab to get one for free. And this is what we're going to try now. But also, if you are on a paid plan of TOs, you will have a cloud machine that it comes already connected here and you don't have to connect anything. It will be always connected and ready to use. Another drawback of Colab is that it may disconnect. Yeah, is the free plan disconnects whenever they want. If the demand demand is high of on Colab, if they will disconnect your your instance. But if you use the TOS cloud machines, it will be always connected and ready to use. So that's another option. But yeah, I want me to show you how you can do do this with a Colab. First, make sure that you are running with a GPU. This is the most important step. You must run this with GPU because that's the whole point, basically. To run an error network, you will need to run it on GPU very fast. So sometimes Google Colab doesn't give you a GPU. Uh, you have to go here and change your Gmail account on the top right corner, and you will probably get one after that. So first, make sure that you have a GPU. As you can see, we have one at Tesla T4 GPU, perfect. Now step two is to install the TOS Python package. So let's do that and wait for it to finish. Okay, now let's go ahead and run the TOS setup. You will be asked which field of AI we want to use. We want to do object detection now. So uh, type one and click enter the return key. And that will be uh, downloading all the dependencies for object detection. All right, great. So now it finished. And let's go to the next step, which is to restart the Colab runtime. So go here and click Restart Runtime. Yes. This is a very important step because the runtime needs to initialize again to load the dependencies that we installed. So now the next step is to log into TOS. I will put my username. All right, so the last step is to connect this Colab instance to TOS. So let's go here and copy the project key and paste it here. Excellent. Now we have this machine connected to TOS. So let's select it and click Create. All right, so this is a training session where you will see all of the training metrics come in from the Google Colab instance. You will see all the graphs of the training metrics of the model while it's training. Uh, yeah, we have a few settings here, like the number of epochs, the batch size, what device we want to use, either CPU or GPU. Always select GPU, as I told you before. Initial weights, which be if you want to start with a pre-trained model and do transfer learning, it will be maybe much faster to train. But for now, we leave it there at none. And then, well, obviously, the machine that we connected. If you want to know what, what the batch size is and the epochs, I will leave a link to uh, documentation down below so you can check it out. Now let's go ahead and click Start Training. We can see that it's now creating the dataset manifest to download all the images and the labels. 
to then um, start training the model and stream all the metrics down to our browser. So now we have just to wait until the model is trained and let's move to the next step. All right, guys, so as you can see, we are already at epoch number 292 of 300. And I already stopped the training because uh, you can see the the accuracy, the fitness is already started to not improve very much. So I stopped it. And now let's go ahead and take a look at how this model performs. All right, so now I'm here in the deploy section of Teos. I created a new deployment with the weights of the training. Uh, let's let's go to the playground and try it out. So now let's go here and click URL image and paste a URL. Here we have this image and click detect. As you can see, it detected very well all the, all the text of the image. Here the gray fox, TR, waterfall, stop. Here we have the JSON output. But we want now to be able to read the text inside each bounding box. Let's go ahead and now and train Paddle OCR. Let's now go here on the training session and create a new one called Scene Text OCR. Let's select the Scene Text dataset, click Next. Let's now select here OCR and we will select the Paddle OCR model and let's select the machine that will do the training. I stop the, the call up instance here. Let's now go here and run the setup again, but for OCR. So here, number two, and let's wait for this to finish. All right, so now let's restart the runtime again. Here, let's log in. And now guys, before connecting the call up instance, you will have to go here and delete the machine that we had previously because this will be connected with a new ID. So let's go here and click connect to call up instance to TO's project and it should connect now. All right, we have a new machine here connected. So let's go to our training session and change the machine to the new one. Okay, so yeah, leave uh, every, everything that's like this. Uh, it's all okay. Ah, so you have to use the initial model here because as I told you earlier, the Paddle OCR model is very hard to train. So it's better to start with a pre-trained model with the already trained with this data set. This is the default Paddle OCR weights. So let's start there and let's fine tune with our own data set. I click start training and wait for it to finish. All right guys, so now we are at epoch 90 or 300, but I stopped it because the accuracy is, uh, you can see the accuracy wasn't getting much better. So I stopped the training here. And now let's go ahead and combine Jolo V7Tiny with Paddle OCR to perform text recognition. Okay guys, so now we're going to use Easy Jolo V7 to perform the object detection. We were going to download the weights that we trained on TOs and use it with this code. You can see here the code of Easy Jolo V7. And then we will pass, once, once we detect the bounding boxes, we will crop the image in those bounding boxes and pass those crops to the Easy Paddle OCR repository that is very easy. We have a pip install uh, package, so it will be very simple to use. You can see here, you initialize a text recognizer. We will we, we do with our custom weights here. And then you can load the image with the OpenCV and pass the, the image to the text recognizer to get a prediction. So now let's go ahead and put these two models together. All right, guys, so I cloned the Easy Jolo V7 repo and I'm here with two images. This one with a street sign, share the road. And this other one, stop all way. So I'm here on the OCR image script of Easy Jolo V7. We'll have to modify this. So the OCR classes will be text as we had a text class on the dataset. Now, with the weights, we don't want to load the default Cocoa weights, so we have to download from TOs the weights from the training session. So I'm here in the Synth Text Detection from Cholo V7Tiny. I'm going to click here the weights button and download the best weights and the classes YAML file. Let's drop this to the repo like this and like this. Here we have the classes, the text class and the color and the weights file. We have to modify this and put the best weights and classes channel file. Now also we have to load the OCR model. And for that, we have to go to the OCR training session. So it will be here. Here we have the syntax OCR. We want to click the download weights button and download it. This will be a folder, a zip folder. So we're going to extract this. So now let's drop the folder here with the OCR weights, copy folder. And these are the files. 
we can delete this uh, best pd opt, opt uh, params and states we can delete those and just leave the dictionary inference and inference files and now let's go here in the script and set the ocr weights to the best folder like this now instead of detecting the iphone image we're going to detect first the sign uh, the sign image and save it as detect the sign okay now let's go ahead and try it out python ocr image and here we have the json output and let's take a look all right share the road perfect so we detected the bounding boxes and the text inside of them we can see that is indeed the text is correct share the road share the road perfect now let's try it with the other image so the other one is called stop and uh, let's change this to stop uh, let's see let's run the script all right the text output uh, the json output sorry let's see now stop all way works very well so yeah that's it working very well you can use this with uh, license plates that's one of the most popular uh, applications of this obviously to collect uh, many thousand images of license plates the full image of a CCTV camera of license plates, for example, and label all of the, the bounding boxes with the text. Train first Cholovi 7 Tiny to detect the bounding boxes and then train Paddle OCR to recognize the text. All right, guys, with that, we finished the tutorial. I hope you liked it. So I will leave a link to the dataset in the description down below. So as I said before, you can trim it down or you can, if you want to train with the full data set, you have a paid plan there to upgrade. Leave any comments down below if you have any questions. Like and subscribe if you like this content and want to see more of it. And please join the WhatsApp group. We have a WhatsApp group, the TOSAI University on WhatsApp and Discord. So I will be also be leaving the links for that in the description of the video. See you guys in the next one. Bye bye.